Hello and welcome to English Like a Native. My name is Anna, and today we are going on a journey of discovery. The UK is made up of a vast array of accents, which differ vastly from region to region. Sometimes it's even difficult for us natives to understand each other. So if you're not a native, you might find it impossible. So this series is all about introducing you to different accents from different regions around the UK. So who are we going to meet today? This is Paul. Paul is a Cockney, usually found in the East End of London. Say hello, Paul. Oh my! Everybody loves the Cockney accent, and you may have heard of Cockney rhyming slang. Some of the common phrases you might hear from a Cockney are as follows: "You're having a bubble." Are you joking? Sweet mate. That's wonderful. Pipe down, you lot. Be quiet, everybody. Wonderful. Okay, so let's look at some of the key features of the Cockney accent. One of the major aspects of the Cockney accent is the th sound. So, where in standard British English you would do a th with the tongue between the teeth. The Cockneys don't. They will sometimes replace it with an F, a V, or even a D. So let's have a look at some examples, shall we? The word with. 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 Come with me. Come with me. Ooh. See, then you said That's come dropped. with me. Mm. Interesting. But either way, we don't do the th in the same way. So come with me, or. Go with him. Would you go go with him? No, go with him. Go with him.、Mm, go with him. Come with me. Go with him. Come with me. Interesting.、Mm. Okay, let's have a look at another word. Father. 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 My mother and my father. My mother and my father. Nice. Something you should say regularly if you're polite is thanks. 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 I'd like to thank you for watching. 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 <laughs> Weather. 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 We're having lovely weather here today. We're having lovely weather here today. Another common feature is the dropping of the H sound. So where we would do a nice aspirate for the letter H in Cockney, they would generally drop that. For example, house, 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 house. I bought a new house. I bought a new house. Help, 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 help. Could you help me? Could you help me? No, I don't think anyone can. <laughs> Hero, 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 hero. He's my hero. He's my hero. And something you would say quite often. Hello. 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 <laughs> Another key feature is the diphthong ow, ow. So in standard British English, we take the two vowel sounds, we run them together smoothly. A, u, ow, ow. But the Cockneys do more of an ow sound. It's it's sharper, less of a diphthong. Ow, ow. Generally quicker. Generally quicker. Okay, so less of that slide from one vowel to the other. So let's look at some examples. How. Ow. How. Ow. How are you? How are you? Now. 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 Now I need to go now. I need to go now. Allow. 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 I cannot allow you to pass. I cannot allow you to pass. Another diphthong that is different in the Cockney accent is the I diphthong. I. In standard British English, we start this diphthong more open. I. I. But in Cockney, there's less space. I. I should I let the genuine Cockney give that a go? So if I say I, you would say I, 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 and you'll notice again it's quicker. So I take more time 
enjoy that movement, whereas Paul just rushes it through. Just put it that way. <laughs> so let's look at this sound in some words. So, like. 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 I like you. I like you. Thank you. That's not a problem though. <laughs> Pick up Paul. My. 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 That's my mother. That's my mother. Night. 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 It happened the other night. It happened the other night. Fight. 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 We got into a fight. We got into a fight. Finally, Cockneys generally glottalise their T's, so they drop them when they appear in the middle of words and at the ends of words as well. So, for example, I might say water, but Paul would say water. 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 And if I was to say pass me that water, you'd say pass me that water. That water. So there was no final T and no middle T in water. So, pass me that water. Pass me that water. Lovely. Other examples might be the word better. Better. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. You're feeling better? A little bit. Good. Butter. Butter. Pass me the butter. Pass me the butter. Twitter. 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 Have you checked your Twitter account? Have you checked your Twitter account? Are you following me on Twitter? Are you following her on Twitter? <laughs> Great. Okay, so there we have it. You've got some standard phrases that you might hear from a Cockney, as well as five common features of the accent. So that covers the Cockney accent. Now, we have been very general here. We've covered the general, stereotypical Cockney accent features, but London is made up of so many different influences, many different accents, and so this is not indicative of everybody who lives in London. It just gives you a little bit of a helping hand. Do make sure that you stay with us for many more accent discovery videos. Let's say a big thank you to Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, darling. Thank you very much, love. And before you leave, make sure you press that big red subscribe button. It should be placed below the video just here. If you have any comments or any accents you would particularly like to hear, then put it in the comments box below and I'll try my best to do that for you. Thank you very much and goodbye. See ya.